so what's really interesting here is that um, until 2022, all of the US TNT manufacturing um, for use in artillery shells was reliant on a Ukrainian factory that is inside the Russian zone of control. Now, for those who don't know, uh, when uh, putting together a 155 round, it has uh, two parts to it. You've got the propellant, which is mostly the nitrocellulose, mm. um, and then you've got the high explosive, which is the RDX, basically, uh, uh, the tent, and um, which is the TNT part. Uh, or is that, no, I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, and what it is, is when you're building the, the nitrocellulose is the um, propellant, that has to be done in batches and so is where most organizations they say right we're going to build a batch of cook up essentially cook up a batch of nitrocellulose and ship that off um i, I read an, i got an article the other day on youtube from uh, british armed forces buddy youtube uh, feed and saying yep they they've seen this uh, issue for themselves and they are looking to build their own um process whereby they're no longer reliant upon um, uh, overseas uh, production of TNT and nitrocellulose and RDX 